Hey guys, um, today I wanted to do a video on something that's very important, um, and it's actually a special request video, and it's about eating disorders, but it's kind of a whole bunch of things kind of summed up into one video. Um, I've been getting asked what are the warning signs of eating disorders, um, also I've been getting asked, um, how do you recognize symptoms of an eating disorder? And I figured um, I would make a video on my experiences with my eating disorders and um, kind of tell you guys how my family, I guess, started to notice that I had an eating disorder and, um, you know, the physical symptoms. Uh, of eating disorders and also the type of eating disorders that there are because some people think that there's just um, anorexia and bulimia but there's there's really actually a lot more um, so you know first of all I want to say that eating disorders are so so just very very dangerous and a lot of people don't don't see it like that they say you know, let me just shed some pounds and I'll be happy. But when you lose those pounds, you're never really quite happy. You're never happy enough. Like, no matter how many pounds you lose, you will never truly be happy. You will want to lose more. Um, that's what happened to me. I lost pounds and then I wanted to lose more and then I wanted to lose more. And then the next thing you know, I was so-and-so pounds and about to die. So, um... Disordered uh, eating behaviors stand in the way of, um, you know, healthy experience of emotional, uh, social development and stuff like that. Um, and they prevent the sufferer from living a full life because they don't actually get out and do the things that they should do because food is consuming them. Um, it's not normal to eat healthy, they don't think it's normal to eat healthy, you know, and, um, you know, so the behaviors associated with eating disorders can include what I'm about to tell you. Um, frequent trips to the bathroom immediately after eating, secretly binging on large amounts of food, hoarding large amounts of food, increase in, in, consu in consumption of laxatives, diuretics, or diet pills, exercising compulsively, often several hours per day, using prescription stimulant medications like Adderall, um, stimulant drugs like cocaine to suppress appetite because it makes you not hungry, um, strict diets regardless of the weight, uh, and despite different um, symptoms, eating disorders share common roots that depend on genetics, uh, environmental factors, medical history, life experiences, um, and the presence of psychiatric and addictive disorders. And it's best to get help when you realize that you or someone that you love is developing an eating disorder because it can get out of control to the point where you can die and people don't think they don't take that seriously. They don't think that they can die. And you can. Um, when I was in an eating disorder treatment center, um, I had two girls that died um, in my facility because, and they died actually from purging. And people think, a lot of people will say, well, I've only been doing it for a week, or I've only been purging for a month. The truth of the matter is, it doesn't matter if you've been doing it for one day. Um, you can purge once and go into cardiac arrest and, you know, die. I'm not saying that everybody that goes into cardiac arrest has, will die, but the majority of them will. And, and that's the sad reality of it. Um, you know, if you notice that withdrawing from friends and family, uh, that's one of the first signs is withdrawal from family or friends or activities that you like to do staying in bed all the time um, you have to look out for that avoidance of meals 
or situations where food may be present. Uh, that's what I did. I tried to avoid every single uh, holiday, every single occasion that I knew that food was going to be there. I would make up excuses of why I couldn't be there because I didn't want to be around food or people. Um, um, obsession with weight, body size, and shape or specific assets of one's appearance. Meaning you're obsessed with how you look. Um, you look in the mirror, which mirrors are so evil. I've made a video about it before on how I feel about mirrors and scales, but that's a whole other topic. Um, basically, you see your body as being a big fat blob. And the truth of the matter is, is that you're not. And we don't see it like that, but others do. And that's what happened to me. I didn't see myself as this teeny tiny thing. I saw myself as just this big, fat, oversized girl. And I hated myself and I hated every inch of my body. Um, you know, until I obviously started getting help and realizing that it was just distorted image. And distorted image is just like I said, seeing yourself in the way, in a way that you not really, you not, you not are. Um, obsessing over calorie intake and calories burned by a exercise, even as one may be losing significant pounds, um, significant amounts of weight. Uh, I used to eat very little and exercise so much to the point where I would wear myself thin and then I had no energy to do anything. Um, I did obsess about calories. I would only eat stuff with very little calories and whatever I consumed, I would purge. And um, people ask me what I suffered from. I suffered from anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa. But the thing of it is, is that I was not a binge eater. Um, I maybe binged one or two times in my entire, you know, life. I guess within the 15 years of dealing with my eating disorders, I never, um, I never consumed thousands and thousands upon thousands of calories at, you know, a given time. I would eat very little and then I would purge what little I did eat. Um, so I guess, you know, I fall under the category of anorexia, but with, um, bulimia tendencies because I would purge and I would use laxatives. So... You know, there's anorexia nervosa, there's bulimia nervosa, there's binge eating disorder, um, there's compulsive eating where you can't stop eating and the person just feels so horrible and worthless about themselves. Um, I'm going to give you guys a few uh, symptoms of anorexia to look out for um, so you know kind of where to go if you feel you or yourself may be developing an eating disorder. Um, physical symptoms of anorexia are fatigue, dizziness, fainting, brittle nails, hair that thins, breaks, or falls out, um, menstrual cycles are very irregular or they just stop, which is, um, and then I never know how to pronounce this word, so, <laughs> baby fine hair covering face and others of the body, which is called, um, langungo. Emotional and behavior signs of anorexia are refusal, refusal to eat, denial of hunger, excessive exercise, eating only a certain safe food, which I'll tell you in a minute what safe foods are, usually low in fat and calories is what basically what safe foods are. Um, and meal or eating rituals such as... Um, cutting your food into tiny little pieces or spitting food out after chewing. Um, a lot of people will do that. They'll eat, they'll chew things and they'll spit it out. They won't actually consume it and swallow it and stuff like that. Um, symptom signs uh, of bulimia um, are abnormal bowel functioning, damaged teeth and gums, sores in the throat and mouth, scarring of the back of the hand, fingers used to induce purging, um, that's where a lot of my, 
I guess my family saw because I still to this day have some scars on my hands from purging. Um, swollen glands, again, menstrual cycle. Irritation, inflammation of the esophagus, heartburn because you're constantly purging and you're just wrecking your esophagus. Um, behavioral symptoms would be constant dieting, hiding food or wrappers, eating in secret, eating to the point of discomfort or pain, self-induced vomiting, laxative use, excessive exercise, or frequent trips to the bathroom after eating. Um, I did that. I would go immediately right to the bathroom after I was done eating. It was just, um, I didn't even realize how bad I was. I would literally eat dinner. Um, now this could be triggering, so if you're easily triggered, I encourage you to shut this video off and maybe come back to it when you feel that you can handle it. Um, because I don't want to trigger anybody. But basically, uh, I would feel so horrible after I ate. So I would purge immediately after every little thing that I ate. And then I would get on the scale and I would weigh myself and I would see before and after of eating. And a lot of it was water weight. And you do, even though if you are purging after you eat, your body is still consuming a lot of the calories. People don't think that. Um, they think that if they purge right away that you will not gain weight. Um, the truth of the matter is, is that your body will still hold on to some of those calories and fat because it needs to. It needs to hold on to something because otherwise your body goes into starvation mode. Um, being malnourished is not a pleasant thing. And at the time when I was so malnourished, I thought that I was attractive and I wasn't. I was bone. I was pale. I had, um, I personally never had the Laguno, the hair all over my body and stuff, which I'm kind of thankful for, but I never had that. Um, I was always cold. My fingernails were always blue. Um, my heart was very slow, very abnormal. Um, I was just bone. I was at my lowest. I was almost in like the 60s, like 60 something pounds. And that was in my lowest, most horrible stage of my eating disorder. Um, I don't like to use weights and calories and, and you know, I don't like to tell you guys that because it's very triggering. I know it's triggering and it's triggering for me as well, but I feel like sometimes it's better to tell people the dangers and that eating disorders kill and that we need to stop them. Um, I believe that eating disorders can be genetic. Uh, my family down the line, I believe that my great grandmother had an eating disorder because she was so frail and so tiny. Um, it's not necessarily a proven fact yet. They don't really know what causes eating disorders. I mean, sexual abuse, physical abuse, PTSD, any kind of trauma um, could cause eating disorders. Feeling like you're worthless or, you, you know, hopeless. You lean on eating disorders. For me, it was all about control. My life was so out of control, so the only way I had control was to eat what I wanted purge what I wanted, you know, and I hibernated and I stayed to myself and it was not good. I almost died and I still struggle every single day and I will for the rest of my life, but I am proud to say that I have not used any um, bulimic tendencies in within like almost a year, almost a year. I have not purged or used laxatives at all, almost in about a year. So I'm proud to say that, um, but I do, don't think, I, I always think about it. I always want to do it. Um, it's just normal, you know? So I'm gonna go because I have to end this video, but I will talk to you guys soon. Peace, love, and remember to get help as soon as you can. I love you guys.